unexplored regions, bleak and desolate, where no human ever goes and no light is ever seen. It is as though the land had been posted by God. It is in these lonely areas of the impenetrable forest and dark shadows that the Gila monster still lives. How large the dreaded Gila monster grows, no man can say. charging you with an entertainment guy. Oh, yeah. Hi, Smooth. Hi, Ken. Hey, uh, how are the new clocks on the bomb? I can get you a good price on that. Paid six hundred and ninety-five dollars for that car twenty-six years ago. Ten years ago, wasn't worth a dime. Last month, I turned down a hundred for it. When it gets back up to six ninety-five again, I'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, you know.
know this would be Lisa's first trip to a drive-in. Oh, we have a drive-in in France, too. Yeah? Yes, I went twice with my brother on his motor scooter. <laughs> Got a new set of wheels. Yeah, new to me. That parker I had, I'd be chasing you for on a bicycle in a couple of days. Oh, come on, Sheriff. Outside of Pat Wheeler, we haven't had a ticket in our gang in eight months. Oh, I was just kidding. What's the mileage on it? Oh, about 35,000. Charlie bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. Let me have it for a couple of days and I'll tune it up for you. Oh, you choke it off so I could never catch it. You couldn't catch that deuce of mine right now. Now, let me have that patrol car. I'll turn it into a slingshot that'll catch anybody. We'll make a deal. Hey, Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. They were supposed to meet us at the drive-in, but they didn't show up. We wondered what happened. Were they in any kind of trouble? What do you mean? You know. Um, no, I don't think so. Chase, level with me. I'm almost positive they weren't in any trouble. I'd know. Do you think they might have run off to get married? Well, they've been going steady for over a year now. And I know they talked about it, but... No, not like for right now. Did Pat have any money stashed? Yeah, some. Like how much? Well, he was talking about getting a new blower in the mill. That's about 500 bucks. Where did he get that kind? 
kind of money. He saved it. His old man gives him a good allowance when he's not mad at him. What bank does he use? None. He's pretty dead to find out. He could have been saving it to get married, couldn't he? His money? I guess he could do whatever he wants with it. But you know, if he eloped, his old man had put him down flat. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man cooled off. Gang, I couldn't slow down. Did you check the hospital? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Well, I don't know about Bob and Gordy, but Chuck and Rick went over to Easton. They wanted to check with the Wheelcats about next Saturday night's fighter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that path that night. No dragon. Okay, I'll tell them. If you get any postcards from those two, let me know. I 
figured who was on that party line a while ago. Well, taught me to get on that line with you. I figured since it was on your call station anyway, you wouldn't care. Yeah. There's a pretty good one. Yeah. This engine's still warm. Say, did you see the skid marks out here? They go at a direct right angle to the direction of travel. Yeah. No digs in the macadam, either. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Let's take a look around. I've already looked around. There's nobody here. Real good? Yeah, real good. Well, maybe somebody came by and picked them up. It could have been the people that called in. No, they just said something. Well, then why didn't they wait? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around. Don't want to fill up. Trouble, Chase? I don't know, Sheriff. Take a look. It's just sitting here. Probably fell off of a car. No scratches on it. Well, maybe it landed in a bush. No, as thin as that imitation leather is, even a bush would take some of it off. Was it just like that when you found it? Yeah, straight up. Probably belonged to some hitchhiker. Or it might have belonged to the fellow that stole that car and wrecked it. Cigarettes, one on the That suitcase don't belong to 
county car thief. He was around here too long. I'll take it in. I'll put it in the car for you. Somebody will be around to claim it. See you later, son. Right, Sheriff. I got your phone call. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Willow, he became very angry. He said if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He took up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't become a ward of the state. Now, we don't have to worry about that. You know how to speak English well enough to get a job anywhere. He sent Timor out for me to ride with you. What's Timor all about? Nothing. I don't want to go away, Chip. You won't have to, honey. I think it's your fault that Pat ran away. Well, he can think whatever he wants to think. He shouldn't take it out on you. But we hadn't better take any chances. You go back inside. And look, don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Give me a tow, Dad. The steering wheel won't work. Okay. You take a nap. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she walks. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks whenever she talks. And roll and dip and and never know when all is slow and baby. My baby, she swings and sings and swings whenever I bring her things. She swings and sings and swings for a little diamond ring. Swing and sing and bells are ring and happy playing and plays are ring and baby. My baby, she rocks and rolls and rocks when. 
whenever she wants my baby she swings and sings she swings whenever I bring her things a rock and roll and tippy toe and ever though and always glow and swing and sing and bells a ring and happy play plays your ring and baby good afternoon Mr. Smith like man guys have had their heads chopped off for less than that for what for feeling so doggone good when I feel so bad. How'd I get here anyway? I told you in this morning, remember? As a matter of fact, I remember very, very little. You said somebody ran you into the ditch, but I didn't see any other cars. How'd you ever get me in that bed anyway? I carried you in there and I sat on you till you fell asleep. That must have been quite a chore. You wouldn't have gotten very far in your condition. Well, look, I really appreciate it. Um, Chase Winstead. Chase. And I, uh, my golly, how much I owe you? Well, I bent the fender out from the wheel. You want me to fill it in and touch it up for you? No, I don't think so. I'll, uh, get that done when I get back to the city. Here, have some coffee. Oh, great. How about two bucks? Man, this coffee's worth two bucks all by itself. How about the toe? No, I was coming this way anyway. I... Missed out on a little studying time. Make it three bucks. Dad, you go to school? I sort of. I take a correspondence course in engineering. Well, look, I really feel indebted to you, and I'd like to do something to pay you back. Now, next time you're in the town, there's my card. Look me up, will you? All right. Will do. Okay. On, oh, by the way. Buy yourself a sponge rubber hammer, man. All right, I will. I'll see you, Chase. Thank you.
big town around here. Look at that. What is it, Shay? Looks like an animal of some sort drug something along here. You mean a wild animal here? Sure, it could be anything, even a mountain lion. Oh, come on. Bottom of the wash. Two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Were they in it? No, nothing. Uh, drive me back to my car and I'll bring up the record. Where did you find it? By the reservoir and Williams Wash. They weren't in it. No sign of blood. 
blood or anything. You know, I think they were thrown clear. Did you search the area? Yeah, Gordy went down the ravine for about a mile, and oh, he looked beyond the wreck for a couple hundred yards. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? No, none. This thing's been around just about the same as that sedan. Like it has been hit with a 10-ton rubber mount. It's a pretty rough trip down that cliff, but could have done it. Yeah. I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You know, I've been thinking, if if Liz and Pat had a, eloped, they wouldn't have taken his car. His old man Wheeler would have it traced right off. Well, well, maybe he stole it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Yeah, if it was stolen, and somebody parked it there, well, the brakes could have faded and it rolled off the edge. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Possibility makes some sense, though. I'll get my gear and dust for fingerprints. Cash, I wish you boys would have called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. I'm sorry, Sheriff. The hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. It's not like we found them there. He's sure going to raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Where's Mr. Condon? Oh, he went down to the field with a load of fuel oil. Back in two or three hours. I'm going to close up. I'll see you later. Sad little mushroom, and there was a meadow ready to cry. And there was a sparrow, a gray little sparrow. And there was an eagle, silent and high.
never felt any more like laughing than I do right now. I didn't think you'd be able to do that good in a week. Didn't you really? Honest, but you know, you're going to have to work real hard. And you mustn't be disappointed.
Chase sure got off light. He took off this morning. You just been sitting around here on your can all day long. That barn was a place to clean. You get the high pass set up? Yeah. Well, you steamboats and dreamboats, that's the steamroller on another session. He's a low steamroller here at KILT. If any of you round rocks get lonesome for my voice, I'll be emceeing a flatter party tonight out at Hargitay's barn on Route 43. Drop in. I'll flank you. Hey, man, that's us. We got the steamroller coming out. That's where Chase has been all day. Getting steamrolled. This will be a blast. How about that gun? the same story a man down here told me. Something real strange must have happened down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He'll be handy if you want him. Right. Sit down, Harris. You be going down to the wreck, Sheriff? No, that's not in my territory. Headquarters already have a report. The troopers will take care of that. Harris, tell me again about the train wreck. Well, I was driving around quite like it in my Model A. Bought it at 32 for six. Just a minute, just a minute. I ask you what time it is, and you tell me how to build a clock. Just the facts about the wreck. Well, I was driving along quite like it, the wreck. Then I turned around and come back down here and told you about it. Give me your keys, Harris. 
Jonas. He? Ike? Flat flat. For spending a yarn like that and driving well drunk. I demand a sobriety test. Yeah, that does it. Go like yourself, huh? I demand a sobriety test because I ain't been drinking. Well, at least that is not heavy. Whatever you think's right. Put your hands in a step situation. Well, you can't win them all, can you, Sheriff? You can call your wife if you want to, Harris. What? <laughs> Are you crazy, Sheriff? Maybe she will. They sound a little bit like Harris, but let me tell the whole thing in my own words. There was another report out of Russia or the Ukraine. It was in the paper a couple of months ago. Maybe you saw it. About a baby that weighed 130 pounds when it was 10 months old and was taller than its mother. Grew up to be a giant. Yeah, and that same thing could happen right here. Did you see any footprints around any of those wrecks? No. Kilo monster footprints? Yeah, a big one. About the size of a bus. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Well, I don't know. But Harris saw it, and some of the survivors of the train wreck saw it. A giant lizard. Train wreck? Where? At the bridge over Wilson's Wash. When? Tonight, about an hour ago. The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. And you can't always believe what Harris said. Monster. Pink and black stripes. You know, I towed a guy in the other day, and he said he'd been forced off the road by something like that. I didn't believe him because he'd been drinking. And another thing, when we were looking for Pat's car, we saw where something had been drugged down the wash. You know, if they could have gotten that big, they could have knocked Mr. Compton's truck off that road. Could have gotten him. I shouldn't have told you about this until after the party, but I just thought you'd want to know. Hadn't we better warn everybody? No. It operates. 
parade down and around the marsh. Troopers have got that staked out for a couple of miles. Just keep it to yourself. It might cause panic. Okay, Sheriff, whatever you say. Try and forget it for now and have some fun, will you, boy? shouldn't have been moved until a thorough investigation had been made and it had been photographed. This wasn't done, was it, Sheriff? I thought not. It was removed and clues lost without authority. You didn't put that in your report, did you, Sheriff? Of course you did. And I'll tell you why. You were protecting the Chase Winston. Covering him regardless of the effect it might have on others. Chase was only trying to help. He's your son's friend. Probably the best one he ever had. Of course it wasn't in the report. What good would it do? Any kid can make a mistake, Mr. Wheeler, even yours. But, Sheriff, it's my son that's missing. Let me ask you something else. Have you heard the reports about a giant lizard? Do you believe him? I don't know, Mr. Wheeler. Doesn't seem possible. Well, why not? There have been giants before. That's true. But how could anything that big go unnoticed in this area? Have you ever walked the length of Williams Wash? No. You know anybody that has? No. That area is so choked with underbrush, it isn't even good hunting ground. And I say it is possible for a giant lizard to have lived there for years without being seen. No. If that is the case, my son's dead. So's Compton. I can't blame you for what's happened to Pat, but Compton's death is on your hands. How did you come to that conclusion? I'll tell you how. His truck was found only two miles beyond Pat's car. And if you'd investigated that area thoroughly, as you're paid to do, Compton might not have died. Well, now, come out here. I want to show you something else. Now, something may have hit this car, but it didn't take the tires off. And where did those new white sidewalls on Chase Winston's hot rod come from? Here, I guess. There was a towing charge against He us. presumed the bill wouldn't be paid, so he borrowed the tires in the meantime? Perhaps. That's thievery. Destroying evidence, obstructing justice. Now... Your last official act of office will be to arrest that boy and bring him in. And I'll go along to make sure that it's done.
a fellow dropped in over KILT the other day and played me a great new song. I thought it was just fine. I want to play it for you. We got a little pickup uh, group together and cut a demo disc on it. I want to play it for you now and see what you think about it. By the way, the first person who identifies the singer on the record gets two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. <laughs> But you gotta pay your own way over there and back. Oh. Oh. Okay, here it is now. See what you think of it. train wreck and get some troopers. If we pump enough lead into that thing, we may hit a vulnerable spot. We know you're going to have to get
give me a hand. But how? Keep these kids here. I don't want anybody roaming around. Where are we going? Storage shed. I've got an idea that might work. You've been after this, now you've got it. You're deputized. Listen, kids, Winner's my deputy. You'll take your orders from him. Arrest anybody that tries to get away. The sheriff says this is a place to stay. Well, we're not staying here. That's right. I'll have to arrest anyone that leaves. No, oh, leave it. the office till I get back. I told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? I haven't got much time. You're not going to leave me, Chase. I'm going to help. Do you know what's in here? Nitroglycerin, enough to blow off half this town. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. All right, now take these and hold them, and don't let them bump. And for heaven's sakes, don't drop them. They generally travel in a straight line. Good Lord, he's hit the Blackwell home. That's where Missy is. Mrs. Blackwell. It's okay, honey. I tore my new dress. Oh, we can get you a new dress. A oh, hundred dresses. Everybody all right? Yeah. On the way back, we picked up his trail. Followed him across country. What did you hit him with? 
My brand new 100% completed hot rod. You'd have had to start in the next county to get up enough momentum to do that to him. Not with four quarts of nitroglycerin right with you. You rode across that rough field carrying nitro? Yes, sir. Do you know what could have happened to you? It did. I lost my car. Oh, don't worry about that. The railroad will be glad to buy your new one. Sure did, Missy. You were really traveling. I thought I told you to keep those kids up at the barn. Well, uh, how do you arrest a bunch of kids going in all different directions? Do you realize what would have happened if that thing had turned back? Same thing that happened to Pat. Sheriff, your job is a much bigger one than I thought. Since Compton's gone, I guess Chase is out of a job. That's right. Would you make it a point to have the boy come around and see me in the morning? I'll bring him around in the morning.